today we are talking about how to learn piano pieces faster. Coming up. Hello, my name is Rod Vester and thank you for clicking on this video. So today we are talking about how to learn piano pieces faster. So I have six tips and number one is to listen to the music while you are viewing the score. So at the beginning of this video, you heard me play a little bit of Prelude in E minor by Chopin. So if we were to go to YouTube and type in Chopin Prelude in E minor, we would get a lot of videos of people performing this piece of music. So what we would do is take our score here, Prelude in E minor, and we would listen and follow along with the score. So listening while following along with the score helps us to get all the harmonic content in our ears, helps us to hear the chords, helps us to hear the melody, helps us to hear how Chopin wants it expressed, right? And so we can see all the markings, but also hearing it really, really helps us. So that's tip number one, to listen while you're following along with the score. So tip number two, we want to study the score and we want to take a pencil and mark in the score. So what I typically do is look for patterns in the music. So let's look at Prelude in E minor and let's look at the pattern. All right, so here is Prelude in E minor by Chopin. So the first thing I would do is just look through the piece, okay? And then I would begin to notice patterns. I see some rhythmic patterns in the left hand. Yes, the chords are changing as it goes throughout, but these are eighth notes. And so I see that, you know, for the most part, the rhythm is not going to change in the left hand. We get here to the end to some half notes and then the whole note, but the entire piece is pretty much eighth notes. And so I would just look at the chords here and I would probably circle here or write theme or something throughout. Uh, then I would begin to look at the right hand and what is the right hand doing? It's pretty simple. Um, and so after working out the fingering and all of that, I would just you know make notes in here of what changes what looks the same uh, and, and so again I would just write uh, on this piece of music with the pencil. So by learning the patterns it's going to really help you to learn this piece or any other piece that you're working on much faster. Practice hands separate. Yes, you heard me. Practice hands separate. So choose a hand and start practicing with that hand and then of course choose the other hand and start practicing with that hand. Sometimes we wanna jump in and just play hands together, but that could be a lot of musical information for our brains, right? But practicing hands separate really helps us to understand the music, understand how all the parts are fitting together. So I always recommend practicing new pieces or even old pieces, hands separate. Tip number five is to work on sight reading different genres. This becomes really important, especially if you play classical music because Many times as classical pianists, we are working on a piece of music for months and months, right? And after a while, you're not sight reading the music anymore because your brain begins to understand the patterns and all of that. So you're not really sight reading any longer, right? If that's how you always learn music, then your sight reading may not develop as well as it should develop. So keeping materials that you can sight read in front of you consistently really helps with your sight reading and also helps learning music in the future. And as I mentioned, whatever genre that you play within, it's always good to you know, move outside the comfort zone and start looking at other pieces of music that you can sight read through. Tip number six is to record yourself for improvement. Now, some people only record audio when they practice, but I would recommend that you record video. This way you can see how you look when you perform, if you look how you want to look when you perform, and all of that. So recording yourself helps you to go back and look and reflect on, you know, if you are performing how you want to perform, if you're practicing how you want to practice, if you're improving in your practice. So all of these types of recordings can really help you improve your performance and your practice regimen. So tip number six is to record yourself for improvement. So with these six tips, you should be able to learn piano pieces much faster. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.